Hey guys, Colin here with iSkySoft iPhone Data Recovery for Windows. Today, we're going to look at how to perform a selective recovery of files and photos using iTunes Backup. So, why is this useful? If you're watching this video, you might have lost your iPhone, or it is broken, or maybe it just won't turn on. You really, really need some files that are on it, but you can't get to them. You know you've got a backup on iTunes, but you can't get at those files without connecting a new iPhone or other iDevice to it. Well, with iSkySoft iPhone Data Recovery, you can now access those files. You can basically get inside your iTunes backup and extract whichever content you need. So we're talking about photos, videos, messages, message attachments, contacts, call history, WhatsApp, calendar items, reminders, notes, and loads more. Even if your phone is working and you've deleted some files that you need, but you know that they will be present in a recent iTunes backup, well, now you don't have to apply a whole iTunes backup to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod just to recover that one file you need. With iSkySoft, you can just dive into the backup and get that file onto your device or onto your computer really easily. So let's show you just how easy it is. Just go to the Recover from iTunes Backup tab. You can see that your iTunes backups are listed automatically. Just click on the one you want to get your files from. If your backups aren't showing, it means your device probably hasn't synced with iTunes. You can show iSkySoft where to look for your backup files if you've stored them somewhere else by pressing select here. But in my case, we've got a backup file, so we're good to go. Choose Start Scan. Now, if your iTunes backups are encrypted, you'll get prompted to enter your password at this point. Just enter it and then the scan will start. I'm just going to skip this forward a bit. It doesn't take too long. So you can see that the, the files start to populate before the scan's actually finished. And there we go, the scan's finished. So now we can see all of our files that are present within the iTunes backup. You can see photos, you can see app photos, app videos, messages, message attachments, contacts, call history, WhatsApp conversations, and there's loads more down here as well. There's literally loads of things that you can recover. So when you find what you're looking for, um, like I really wanted this photo of my dog here to recover, then just make sure all items are unselected at the top here. Then select the item that you want to recover. There we go, and click recover. And you can recover that to your device directly or to your computer. I'm gonna to choose to recover this to my computer. It asks you where you want to put it. I'm just gonna go with the default. And you can see it's super fast. And let's just double click into it to make sure it's there. Yep, there's my dog looking super cute. Successfully extracted from my iTunes backup. Of course, if you want to recover whole types of files, then say if you want to recover all of your photos, you can just click that box there, or all of your messages, all of your WhatsApp conversations, then you can just click recover and they'll recover to the same place. So you can see it's super easy to get your files back from inside an iTunes backup only with iSkySoft iPhone data recovery.